From a plane with a giant dome to a plane whose name means bird of prey, today we look at the incredible aircraft of the U.S. Air Force. Number 15. Boeing E-3 Sentry The Boeing E-3 is a Sentry in Command aircraft built by Boeing and based on their 707. The key distinguishing feature of the E-3 Sentry is the large 30-foot rotating radar dome, or rotodome, above the fuselage, which makes it clearly stand out from its civilian counterpart. Operational from 1977, the U.S. currently has 31 operational craft, and they have seen notable engagements in the Persian Gulf, Desert Storm, and later Operation Inherit Resolve in 2015. Number 14. A-10 Thunderbolt II the A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately called the Warthog by many, is a close ground support aircraft that while slow and lacking maneuverability, more than makes up for it in sheer firepower. In this capacity, it can be loaded with the equivalent missile, bomb, and explosive complement of four AH-64 Apache attack helicopters just as its secondary weapon system. Its primary weapon system being its car-sized 30mm 7-barrel Gatling gun which fires depleted uranium-tipped shells and is capable of shredding tank heavy armor. For this reason, U.S. ground forces have been grateful to have the Warthog watching over them on countless occasions. At a unit cost of $18.8 .8 million, there are currently no plans to take the 282 operational A-10s out of service. Number 13. CV-22 Osprey Designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the range and speed of a propeller-driven aircraft, the CV-22 is a hybrid tilt-rotor military aircraft. This means that its twin rotors are capable of rotating and, in practical terms, allows it to perform vertical takeoffs and intricate maneuvers as a helicopter would. But while cruising, rotate these propellers forward to cruise more like a plane. While it has faced some criticism for its high costs and alleged safety issues, the $90 million Osprey nonetheless went into full operation mode in 2006. Able to carry 24 combat troops far faster and from a greater range than is possible with the legacy helicopters, despite its critics, the V-22 Osprey is considered a military success. Number 12. E-8C Joint Stars The $244 million E-8 Joint Surveillance Target Attack Radar System, or STARS, is an airborne battle management and command and control aircraft, effectively acting as advanced eyes in the sky for ground troops. Joint STARS craft follow enemy ground and some air movements with an array of surveillance technology in order to coordinate and support allied ground operations. Modified from the Boeing 707-300 series commercial aircraft, the E-8's most distinctive feature is its 40-foot canoe-shaped ray dome under the forward fuselage that houses its 24-foot radar antenna. As a support vehicle, just 19 joint stars have been produced since its approval in 1992. Number 11. AC-130 Among the most famous and longest-serving aircraft in the U.S. military, the approximately $200 million AC-130 has been providing close support to ground troops for over 50 years with its first missions being in Vietnam in 1967. Since then, it has naturally undergone extensive improvements and revisions, but the core purpose remains the same. It is designed as a heavily armed, long-endurance aircraft capable of delivering extensive firepower or area saturation for a long period of time. This long period of time is a key distinguishing feature of the AC-130, as unlike most support aircraft, it flies in a large circular pattern around the target while constantly barraging it with fire to provide constant support to those on the ground. Number 10. C-5M Super Galaxy With a wingspan of 222 feet, a length of 247 feet, and a height of 65 feet, the C-5M Super Galaxy Intercontinental Transport Ship is a monster of a plane. Unsurprisingly, given its size, the Super Galaxy is capable of carrying an equally astounding 281,000 pounds of cargo with an unloaded range of 7,000 nautical miles. It is also equipped with 12 internal wing tanks and is equipped for aerial refueling to ensure that nowhere is beyond the reach of this giant craft. 
First commissioned in 1970, there are currently 52 C5Ms in service, with plans to keep the craft active all the way to 2040. Number 9. U-2 Dragon Lady The U-2 Dragon Lady is a high-altitude, all-weather, night and day reconnaissance aircraft that has been in service since 1956. Flying at 70,000 feet, the U-2s are capable of recording and relaying multispectral electro-optic infrared and synthetic aperture radar images to provide comprehensive intelligence and information. Despite numerous aborted plans to retire the surveillance aircraft, the latest military budget announced that it would stay in service through to at least 2025. Number 8. B-52 Stratofortress Another of the biggest, oldest, and most famous of the planes in the U.S. military arsenal, the B-52 Stratofortress has been in service since 1955 and with constant updates and improvements is planned to be kept in service to 2040 and beyond. Capable of dropping or launching the widest array of weapons in the U.S. inventory, the B-52 can be armed with any number of conventional or nuclear devices and so can be used for an equally large range of missions. Coming in with a length of 159 feet and a wingspan of 185 feet, the Super Fortress is able to carry 70,000 pounds of munitions over a range of 8,800 miles without aerial refueling, although it has since been equipped for this to extend its range indefinitely, and 76 of the aircraft remain in use to this day. Number 7. F-15 Strike Eagle with its distinctive and globally recognizable appearance, the F-15 Strike Eagle is a highly successful variant of the purely air-to-air -air F-15 series that has been adapted to also enable air-ground combat. In this capacity, it has been used for long-range, high-speed bombing and strafing missions against its targets without the need for the escort that pure bombers require since its introduction in 1989. It has seen service in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and Libya, with 227 currently operational in the U.S. Air Force. Number 6. MQ-9 Reaper An unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV with an unofficial primary function to find, fix, and finish targets. The MQ-9 Reaper drone is a hunter-killer and one of the most effective tools in the current Air Force arsenal. Introduced in 2007, the MQ-9 or Predator B, as it is sometimes called, is not limited to this purpose by a long shot though, as it is a multi-mission craft with official mission capabilities, including intelligence, surveillance, close air support, combat search and rescue, precision strike and target development. Controlled back at base from ground control stations, four MQ-9 Reapers and one ground control station make up a single unit and have a current cost of $64 million, with 195 currently held by the Air Force. Number 5. F-16 Fighting Falcon Since its introduction to the U.S. military in 1978, the F-16 Fighting Falcon has become the most prolific military plane on the planet, with over 2,200 produced for the U.S. Air Force alone, and over 2,500 delivered to other countries around the world. It is a multi-role supersonic fighter that is not only highly maneuverable and effective in combat, but also provided a relatively cheap weapon system at $18.8 .8 million per unit in 1998, although the price has risen since significantly. The F-16's incredible agility can perhaps best be appreciated with the fact that alongside the F-15 Eagle, they are the world's first aircraft that were able to withstand higher G-forces than the pilots themselves, demonstrating just why they have been so effective and continue to be today. Number 4. B-1 Lancer The B-1 Lancer, or Bone as it is commonly called, being a portmanteau of B and 1, is a supersonic heavy bomber perhaps best identified by its variable sweep wings which can be swept back or straightened to enable greater aerial versatility. Although having a rocky road to commission since the first plans for the B-1 were submitted in 1970, with many claiming that while technologically impressive, the planes were far too expensive and largely ineffective due to improved aerial interception technology, the first B-1 eventually came to operation in 1986. 
Since this time, the planes have been used in all major combats the Air Force has been involved in, with the criticisms that they would be ineffective against more technologically advanced enemy interceptors largely untested as the U.S. has not been fighting enemies capable of bringing these to bear. Number 3. B-2 Spirit The B-2 Spirit, or as it is better known, Stealth Bomber, is an iconic U.S. aircraft first designed during the 1980s but not put into service until 1997. They were created as heavy strategic bombers with the purpose of navigating dense Soviet anti-aircraft defenses and radar systems, and so employ low observable stealth technology. For this purpose, they are also capable of deploying both conventional and thermonuclear weapons. Because of this delay in development and production, though, by the time of their completion, there was far less demand for such advanced weapons, especially given their huge price tag of approximately $1.1 billion. As such, the U.S. reduced their order from 132 bombers to 21, with no more having been built or ordered since. Number 2. F-35 Lightning II First flying in 2006 and first introduced to the Air Force in 2016, the F-35 Lightning II is an all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft. It has been designed to perform both air superiority and strike missions with secondary electronic warfare, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. It is also notable for its short takeoff, vertical landing, and carrier variants that not only led to its adoption by the U.S. Marine Corps, but also the U.S. Navy in 2019. With the planned U.S. purchase of 2,456 F-35s at a unit cost of around $80 million through to 2044, it is set to become the primary manned tactical air force of the U.S. military until their scheduled operational completion date of 2070. Number 1. F-22 Raptor Unquestionably the most devastating air superiority fighter on the planet, the F-22 Raptor entered service in 2005 and is also equipped for ground attack, electronic warfare, and signal intelligence capabilities. In fact, the F-22's only real weakness is that it has no one to fight. The winding down of tensions with the Soviet Union combined with U.S. engagements in the Middle East against far technologically inferior opponents has led to a lack of need for such an advanced aircraft, and so, with a hefty price tag of $143 million, it was decided that production would be stopped. With just 195 of the intended 750 production aircraft initially ordered being built.